an unboxing video of some exciting new parts that I've gotten in the mail today and over the last week or so. Um, I My channel name is still Matt Richard 715 I haven't come up with a good name for it yet. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below um, what you think it should be or give me some ideas or something. That'd be cool. Thanks. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right. So this box came in the mail today. It's from Hughes Engines. Let's open it up. See what's inside. Good boxing. This company makes strictly Mopar parts. New valve cover gaskets. Intake manifold gaskets, valley pan, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, got me some sweet stickers. I did say I like stickers in the comments, so. Yep. Timing cover. All right, what do we got here? Now this is the complete kit, everything you need for this cam install. This would be the valve springs that are spring rate specific to this cam. Dual spring. Pretty fucking nice. So when I get my heads, the springs that are on the heads are going to come off and these are going in it in the pile of parts here. My garage is a disaster. What do we got next? We got lifters. I just put lifters in, but fuck, oh well. Yeah, see, these lifters aren't in the best shape. These aren't as good as the ones that I put in there, but these are the ones that are going to go in, so... I don't know. Hell yeah. Put those in the box. What else we got here? Oh, the distributor shaft collar. This is to eliminate play in the distributor shaft. Or the gear. And here we've got... Ha ha! Timing chain set. This comes with this kit. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. It's going to go in the box. These are all parts waiting on going in. What else we got here? That's probably the cam, so that's going to wait. We're gonna wait till last to do that. I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. So we are gonna open that. And there it is. The whiplash cam. Got all the specs for it right there. It's gonna be lopy. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Comes with assembly grease. Let's take this out. Take a look at it. Now, the thing that Hughes does, Hughes Engines does, is they grind their cam specific to Mopar's lifter size, which is .904, I believe, which is considerably larger than Ford and Chevy lifters. So, they grind their cams to take advantage of that. The Chrysler cams are bigger and allows for faster lift. Hell yeah, there it is. That's the camshaft. All right. The whiplash. It's 
gonna be pretty sweet. Can't wait to get that in. I'm gonna pull the engine this weekend and then I will start going through the videos of putting all these parts that I bought on the motor, cleaning it up, painting it nice. Comment down below what color you think I should paint the engine. I am pretty indecisive on that. I'm thinking blue is the original Mopar color for the engine. I'm not sure if I want to do blue. I kind of wanted to go black and red on the car. So I might paint it red. I might paint it black. I don't know. So comment down below what you think I should do. And what, uh, what color scheme I should go with. This is the installation instructions for the valve springs, everything like that. Um, in here should also be the somewhere, yeah, right here. My ignition timing advance. Uh, something, something. Yeah, my advanced setting. So this should uh, tell me what to advance my ignition to just as a baseline uh, according to the cam and how it runs the best. So, hell yeah. There it is. Another few parts that came recently. Milliden water pump. Aluminum water pump. And that's going to go in the new Summit Racing housing, aluminum. The original one was steel, and it was rusted to shit, so that came with bolts and gaskets, which I already had bought, but whatever. I'll put the good ones on. So there's that. And... Let me dig through all these parts. It's like... Christmas now every day not every day, but a lot lately uh, Some of that stuff just for shit here and there the paint Flame proof VHT ceramic paint primer flat black satin clear all for my headers Which are right here that are in pretty rough shape They're pretty rough so I'm going to get these sandblasted and possibly, maybe sandblasted. I don't know, this rust flakes off pretty easy, so maybe I'll just hit them with a brush. Now I'll probably get them sandblasted. It can't be that expensive. So I'll get them sandblasted and I will be painting them black. So yeah. Oh, and I don't know if I ever did a video. Might as well just keep going with all the parts. I don't think I've done one of this. Here's my distributor. Get you in the light here. My distributor. Billet, Summit Racing, brand. Ready to run. Way better than that busted ass one that was in there. So there's that. I come with all the stuff to install that too. And I got split lock. Uh, header bolts tighten up with the allen head kind of locking mechanism more break-in additive dun, 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 dun. and ARP head bolts gotta have them my head bolts so I figure if I'm gonna build the thing I'm gonna build it right I got them, and I think that's it for new parts. Oh, buddy of mine, got me a good deal on these brand new brake drum sets. All brand new shit, so should be good. Way better than the rest of the shit stuff that's on there. Intake still sitting in there. Engine's ready to pull. Just gonna get the skid steer over here with the. We're gonna pull it with the skid steer. Way easier. So, drive shaft's out. Everything's ready to go. Those motherfuckers came with the car. They ain't going on it. So, 
So yeah. He was engines. Hit him up. You know what? Actually, let's put these stickers on right now. This is how I gotta open my trunk. <laughs> The last setup for that fucking dust and shit everywhere. All right, where should I put it? Uh, da, 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 da. No, no. Right there. That's where she's going. Wipe that off a little bit. One of them will go in my toolbox. Yeah. Hope you can see that. Those are all my stickers. Most of them were on there when I got it. Only one I put on is the ARP one and the Hughes engine one and the Edelbrock little one here. The rest of them were all on there when I got it. I know the ARP one's a little crooked, but I don't give a fuck. They're just stickers on the trunk. So yeah, that be it. Only part of the car that's painted. <laughs> so yeah, all right, that's a wrap.